Jessica with Blog About It All, and I'm sure you've seen the Dalgonia coffee craze that is taking the internet by storm. I see it all over social media. I love it. It's delicious. It is packed. It's almost like taking shots of espresso. And so I tried my hand at some keto-friendly Dalgonia coffee options, and I already love it. Now, there are many ways you can do it. I tried it hand whiskey, which takes forever. I tried it with my hand mixer, which is my favorite way to make it. Super easy. It whips up really great. I did try the Ninja Blender, the Magic Blender, and that didn't quite work. I don't know if it just blends too fast that it didn't whip it up. It still tastes great and you can stir it in, but you don't get that frothy, silky, coffee topping that makes Delgonia coffee famous. So we're gonna go ahead and make it today. All you need is two tablespoons of instant coffee. You throw that in two or three tablespoons of sweetener, depending on how sweet you like things to be. And I'm using a keto-friendly sweetener, making it regular. You just wanna use regular granulated sugar. And then I'm also gonna, I'm gonna stir this before I add in my water. Add in two tablespoons of hot boiling water that you stir in, and then we're just gonna mix this up. and frothy looking. I have ready here almond milk with ice. One time I added in a little splash of heavy whipping cream just to make it a little creamier. After trying it both ways you really do not need it. And so you just top this yummy delicious coffee frothy creamy fluffy goodness right on top. Obviously to get the perfect picture and all of that stuff you want to leave it like this just topped on top. For drinking enjoyment, you actually end up stirring it in because if you try this frothy coffee goodness, wow, it is packed with a power punch of caffeine, espresso, um, that coffee bean taste, which is glorious if you're used to it. I'm not used to that. I don't drink espresso. I like to let it sit for a little bit and then mix it in. This is the goodness. And then as you let it sit, and as you stir it in, is where you will get all of that yummy flavor and mix. As you can see, the almond milk has started to change color because of that yummy Dalgonia whipped coffee goodness that is going through the entire drink. Yum. Being on keto, this is a fantastic way to have a delicious coffee sweet drink and skip out on all the carbs and extra sugar that you get when you go out and about. We are all quarantined at home because of COVID-19. This is a fabulous way to enjoy a delicious cup of coffee and spruce it up and pretend like you're going to a coffee house right from your home. on the Dalgonia coffee craze and I already tried it with the hand mixer and that worked fabulous. I'm now going to try it with my magic bullet blender and see how it goes. Adding in the two tablespoons of instant coffee grounds. I'm adding in about four tablespoons of sweetener of my choice. I'm keto so I'm using a keto friendly sweetener and I'm adding in two tablespoons of hot water and I'm also going to add in on this one a tablespoon of the Jordan Skinny Syrups, the salted caramel mocha one. One tablespoon 